my studio is my temple. This is this is what surrounds. This is what my life is about. You know, my temple. This is why I that that is why I don't have a studio at home. Uh, because when I'm in my temple, it's it's like holy ground for me. You know, where everything is concentrated on what I come up with. At the end of the day, uh, I became an artist through the encouragement of my parents. You know, uh, because growing up, you know, they recognized that I had a talent, some talent. So as young as six years, you know, I was encouraged to draw and paint. I had every everything I needed because my, my parents were educationists so they gave me stuff yeah. to work with all the time. Um, so for me, I haven't had the misfortune of being forced to do something else. I've always been encouraged to be an artist. So I developed my skills, you know, as a young child, you know, and uh, for, for, for as, as early as my secondary school days, I became, uh, I knew exactly what I wanted to do, you know, uh, nothing, nothing distracted me from that, you know. So even, uh, when I had to go do my A levels, you know, I spent two weeks in the school of my choice, and then I got a admission into the university to do a pre-degree course, and I decided to go. So I left my A level course to go and do a pre-degree course in art. So I've been on the art course for a very long time, you know, and uh, for me, it's my life. Yes. You know, nothing, nothing, nothing to it. It's, it's just my life. I, I won't trade it for anything else. No. Yeah. Never. Um, I like that. Yeah. Oh, in at college, for instance, I was a, a very realistic painter. You know, we were doing the, you know, like, like I say, an academic stuff, strictly academic stuff. We were doing uh, strictly uh, realistic stuff. You know, uh, because uh, it was a huge, it was a huge requirement to, to be able to uh, go through the, the course. So when I left art college, I wanted something different. I wanted to be a, I wanted to create something different for myself. I wanted to be, uh, to have a special feel, you yeah. know, to, to whatever I do. You know, not just copy nature, mm -hmm. if, you, if you like. Mm -hmm. So I started exploring a, with a lot of things. And then I got to work with uh, one artist called uh, Sami Bento, mm -hmm. who mm -hmm. introduced me to working with dots, you know. And I found that very interesting. Mm -hmm. I started researching into textures that can uh, relates to the, dot, the dotting system, you know, the pointillist system. So that's, I started exploring uh, the beadworks from South Africa and all the, you know, the southern part of Africa. Yeah. With their, with their colors and everything, and then the Aboriginal art. Yeah, they, they have the colors. You know, so yeah. Yeah. that really started me on the point list thing, you know. But then at, at the point in time, I wanted to be able to work faster than I was working with the dots. So I started exploring other materials that can give me the same texture. So this is where I came to discover the roller brush. Um, to help me, uh, you know, work a lot faster uh, and 
a lot freer, you know, in my expressions. You know, so that's how I developed into using these textured, textured rollers and all that, you know. And I've found that uh, it's become so much of a, a part of me that I will uh, not trade it for anything else. Nothing. It's a good word. You know, no. Uh, first of all, you should have the passion. That is what will carry you over all the obstacles. The passion, number one, will carry you over any obstacle that you will encounter in trying to be an artist. You know, uh, because when, when, you, when you are faced with obstacles, the only thing that can drive you through the obstacle or over it is your passion to become what you want to become. If you don't have that, then you, you, you don't start because you're not getting you are not getting anything. You know, it is it is passion that has brought me this far. You know, so that is the advice I give to people. If you have that, you 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 solve half the problem. So so you know, at the end of the day, if you you have that passion, you overcome half the hurdle that you need to overcome to become an artist. Then secondly. You don't have to shy. You can't shy away from hard work. You know, yes. hard work. Yes, will, will bring you to the fore. You know, hard work will bring you to the fore. You might be prepared to, to explore, to be adventurous, to be, you know, experimental and everything. You must try, try things out. Don't hold things back. When an idea comes to your mind, straight push it out there. You don't say, oh, this doesn't fit into my style. So you know. So, so you cannot you cannot hold back on any ideas that come to you. So to me, my advice is, is just that for an artist to be himself, to become, uh, you know, to have an identity, you must be able to focus on your strengths and be uh, uh, prepared to you know, explore yourself. Yourself, exploration to be. So, but I know that you know what I believe in. What I've always, when I was teaching, what I believe in is your passion will take you wherever you want to go. Period. That's what I've always believed in. You know, when I was teaching, my students never liked. When you use that they, they didn't like the fact that I, I wouldn't show them my work, and I was trying to get them to be themselves and to, you know move along any lines that you feel like. That doesn't mean it is your passion that will take you wherever you want to be in life. You have to function with the power.